Hi, my name is Cho, and today I'm going to present you about the effects of AJ on glomerular function. We had some questions while we studied about, studied about the kidney, and the first one was what are the factors that affect the glomerular filtration rate? And then it is known that when people get older, the kidney also gets older and often malfunctions. Then what is the difference between the young kidney and the old kidney? So the effects of aging on glomerular function, the objective we looked for was first to find out the changes of real structure as human gets old, and the second, find out the influence of the structural differences on GFR. So I'm going to do some introduction about the GFR. The GFR is the volume of fluid filtered from renal glomerular capillaries into the bone capsule per unit time. And it is equal to the clearance rate when any solute is freely filtered and is neither reabsorbed nor secreted by the kidneys. So we can calculate the GFR by multiplying the urine concentration and the urine flow and divide it by the plasma concentration. Vectors that affect the GFR that are commonly known are these four, renal blood flow, sympathetic nerve, and the efferent arterial, and the arterial pressure of the body. First, the renal blood flow. When the renal blood flow slows down, the GFR decreases. And second, the sympathetic nerve. In case there, if there are severe stimulation in the sympathetic nerve, the GFR decreases a lot. Temporarily. And third, the efferent arterial, when the efferent arterial contracts, the GFR increases, increases. And the last arterial pressure of the body, when the arterial, the, when the arterial pressure of the body increases, the GFR also increases. So we did a physio simulation to tell you a a little bit more about the last one, arterial pressure of the body. So we made a title that of the effects of arterial pressure of glomerular filtration. And this is the model. There is a there's an afferent arterial, efferent arterial, and we can measure the pressure of the efferent arterial, and there is glomerulus, and there is glomus capsule. And then we fix the afferent radius and the efferent radius, and we vary the beaker pressure, meaning the afferent arterial, by 10 mm Hg every time, from 70 mm Hg to 100 mm Hg. And we measure the glomerular pressure and the glomerular filtration rate. So we got this result. The glomerular capillary pressure and the glomerular filtration rate Increase constantly as shown on the graph on your right. There's a positive correlation between the GFR and the beaker pressure. And so, as we vary the pressure of the afferent arterial from 70 mm Hg to 100 meter Hg, with 10 mm Hg variation every time. So, the conclusion was that the change of GFR by vary. The, there was a GFR, the, the positive correlation between the GFR and the beaker pressure. And now I'm going to tell you about some, I'm going to introduce you about some papers of, related with this topic, the effects of aging on GFR. And before we read these papers, these papers, we did some predictions. We predicted about the relationship between the GFR and the age. We predicted that there would be a negative correlation between the age and the GFR. And secondly, we predicted that there would be a weak negativity in the ten, age of 10 and 20s and a strong, strong negativity in the age of 40s and 50s. The checkpoints we're going to look, at, look for is first, the glomerular filtration coefficients for the whole kidney, Kf, and second, the number of filtering glomeruli 
NFG, and last, the glomerular filtration coefficient for single net fault. The first one was the whole kidney, and the last one is a single net fault, and it is, we named it, they named it as a KF. And this is the result. We're going to focus on three values on, on this table. And those are the ages, 35 plus minus 7, 50 plus minus 4. So the first row is the younger donors and younger ones, and the last, second row is the older ones. And the GFR, 108 plus minus 18, 92 plus minus 17. And you can see the star above, of the, above the 7, number 7. And it means that there was a significant difference between the younger, the value of the younger donors and the older donors, while P was under 0.005. And the KFA, the filtration coefficient of the whole kidney, the, for the younger donors it was 11.3 plus minus 4.5, and for the older donors it was 9.4 plus minus 2.82. 7.1 plus minus 1.7. And you can see also see the star above, and it also means that there was significance between the significance different significant difference of KFA between these two groups. And we made a bar graph to compare more easily. And so comparison of GFR and KF between age groups. The blue one is the younger donors. And the Red one is the young, older ones. So the KF, 11.3, 9.4. You, you saw the star above, the 7. And it has a significant dif difference in these two groups. I know that this does not look that very different, but it still is. And the, the GFR, the 108, 92. And there was also a significant difference in the GFR between the two groups. And the second, and we're going to look about look for the NFG. Figure two, estimated number of functioning glomeruli in older versus younger kidney donors. So the y-axis is the derived number of glomeruli per kidney, and the x-axis is the age, younger and older. The and you can see that. The range of the number function number of functioning glomeruli is very higher in the younger group than the older groups. And last, you I'm going to tell you about the glomerular the third one glomerular coefficient of a single nephron. And this table is about the glomerular structures, and you can see that the only significant difference in, with these values are only the base, base, basement memory thickness, but however the basement memory thickness does not affect very much to the GFR. And you can see that as a KF, the filtration coefficient for a single nephron is not significantly different, different in these two groups. And we made a bar graph up. This table and the comparison of SNKF between eight groups. The blue one, blue one is also the younger groups, group, and the red one is also the older group. And you can see there are not these two bar graphs are not very different, and so there are, there was no significant difference. And these this graph is uh, the show. This graph shows the. Dream, Correlation between the GFR and the age. These TC, TTPA, CGGFR, whatever. These these are just these four are just ways of measuring the GFR. Assist the team is just you can say you can think just it's the reverse of the, all these four. So you can see that these four in these four methods, the GFR value decrease, decreases with age. And in the team, the, the value increases with age. And this is a bar graph showing the GFR, the relationship between the GFR and the age. 
the age was 65 less or lesser or 65 older. And the, in, this, in these all four values, all four measurements, there were significant differences between these two groups. So, it's, to summarize, the reasons of the GFR decrease with time are first, the decrease of KF, and second, the decrease of NSG, the number of functions in glomeruli, but not the decrease of SNKF, the, the filtration coefficient for a single nephron. Then why decrease of KF? Why, why does KF decrease? What's the difference between the younger kidney, structural difference between the younger kidney and the old kidney? First, the renal vascular changes. These four can cause this, the renal vascular changes. First, the renal atherosclerosis, meaning the lumen of the blood vessels gets contracts, so it, the lumen decreases. And second, vascular dysautonomy, the autonomic synthetic system malfunctions. And third, arterial subendothelial hyalinosis. It's also the same of, with number one, just the lumen gets smaller. And the last one, uh, glomerular circulation, meaning that they're the, without glomerular, so the glomerulus disappears, so the circulation goes without the glomerulus. And Santa hyperfiltration. I'm going to talk, talk about this later more. And the tubular atrophy. Atrophy means, means contracting, so meaning the blood vessels contract, tubular fracture degeneration. That fills the lumen, so the lumen contracts. So, and the interstitial fibrosis, the interstitial part changes to fibrous, fibrous tissues, like collagen fibers or elastic fibers. Then why decrease of NFG? I'm going to tell, this is the Senna hypofiltration. There are two causes of the Senna hypofiltration. First, glomerulus sclerosis, meaning that the glomerulus changes to other fibers so that the glomerulus Glomer glomerulus disappears. So this leads to the uh, glomerular circulation and the mesangial expansion. The mesangium or the mesangial cell is the, mem is the cell forming the thin membrane in the loop around the lumen. So when the mesangial cells expand, it, it fills the lumen so the lumen gets smaller. And it also leads to the decrease of the GFR. But there are one exception or in this, this paper, about this paper. The, it is the renal result. It, it is the comparison between the protein intake group and the non, protein non-intake group. And this table shows that the uh, protein in, non protein intake group who took the protein, pro, who took protein less than 1.1 gram per kilogram per day, and the protein intake group lock, who took lock, lock, more than 1.1 gram per kilogram of protein per day. In this, you can see that in the 70s and the 80s, the, the second group has a larger GFR value than the first group. So, as I said, in the 70s, the second group, who took more than 1.1 gram per kilogram of protein each day, had, has larger GFR value than the other group. So, conclusion. It is a conclusion. GFR decreases with age. And the GFR is the y-axis and the age is the x-axis. You can see the negative correlation between these two groups. 
Furthermore, this is just my opinion, the malfunctioning of the kidney is somewhat very natural. However, even for the elderly, the kidney function is still very important for their life. And there is a way to slow down the decreasing of GFR, as I introduced just before the exception. Protein intake can improve the GFR for people in the late 60s or 70s, 80s and older. Therefore, I strongly suggest that seniors must take certain amount of protein on a regular basis for their kidney. And this, is, this was my presentation, and these are my...